Let's get more on the urgent action by banks and major businesses to shore up their cash supplies as Armaguard faces the real risk of insolvency. Bring in our senior business correspondent, Peter Ryan in Sydney. Peter, good morning. How much trouble is Armaguard in? Well, good morning, Michael. Look, Armaguard say that they are at the uh, risk of uh, going broke or becoming insolvent simply because they're not making enough cash about carrying cash around the country to uh, banks, supermarkets, outfits like Bunnings, and you recall that it's still a common sight to see those uh, armoured trucks outside uh, those establishments, um, but it's not so common, it's becoming less frequent. And this is because uh, people are using less cash, they're using other methods of payments, and this is having a, a direct impact on Armaguard. Now, the banks and the supermarkets, Australia Post, etc., they're all quite concerned because they rely on cash being uh, not just delivered to them, but also picked up. It's their cash being uh, pushed around the country. So uh, there are talks underway where um, representatives of Armaguard actually um, being negotiated by uh, Bill Kelty, the former ACTU mm. secretary, who's a director of Lynn Fox, very close to the uh, uh, the trucking magnate uh, Lindsay Fox. Um, negotiations are underway. There was actually a meeting chaired by the Reserve Bank Governor Michelle Bullock um, yesterday that uh, Mr Kelty attended. There's been an offer on the table uh, from the consortium of the banks and the supermarkets to provide a bit of a lifeline uh, to Armaguard so they can keep deliveries going until the end of the year. I understand that's valued at, at around uh, $23 million and just been bashing the phones this morning to find out what's going on and I understand that the consortium's given um, Armaguard until the end of today to uh, either take up the offer or accept it, uh, particularly given we're uh, day before Easter or in, the, in that Easter yeah. period and a lot of uncertainty about whether or not uh, cash would be available at some of those um, outlets such as supermarkets. Yeah, and on that front, uh, yes, that's extraordinary uh, position. Coles now says it's in trying to ensure that it has enough cash at least for the Easter weekend. Yeah, that's right. Look, these are very much um, protective measures by uh, Coles. There's no suggestion that they're going cashless yeah. at all, um, but there will still be cash available at the checkouts and also Coles liquor stores uh, over the counter, but with those usual limits. But yes, they're uh, quite concerned. Um, uh, I understand that if there's a lot of uh, money uh, owned by the company that could be uh, inside those armoured trucks or held by Armaguard, that that could actually get tied up if the, if the, uh, the company has to, get, has to go into administration or becomes insolvent. So these are very much uh, protective measures. Uh, other um, supermarkets such as uh, Woolworths would be concerned about this as well. And of course, banks um, it, they still rely a lot on cash. They want cash. People want to be able to withdraw cash. They've really been at the head of the the table negotiating to find a solution, even an interim solution. And really, when you look at cash, even though, yes, the use of cash is uh, rapidly declining, going downhill, you only have to go back to the height of the pandemic in March, April 2020, when there was a massive demand for cash yeah. and the Reserve Bank had to print more cash because people wanted to withdraw that hard currency, uh, not knowing what was coming down the track economically and socially, uh, given the, the depth of the, the crisis of the pandemic. Remember it well. Peter, thank you.